code explain says hi. So until now, when I go and click on next seven days, I show nothing, only next seven days. But instead, what I want to show when I click on next seven days, I want to show all the days of the week starting from today. So for example, if today is Monday, I will start from Monday. If it's Sunday, I'm going to start from Sunday. Today is Friday, so I'm going to go and start from Friday. And then I will need to show all the to-dos that belongs to this day here. Now, uh, inside the parentheses, I'm going to show the number of to-dos that belongs to this day. So if I go and click on uh, here and add a new to-do, uh, to the same day, Friday, you can see that now it shows two, so we have two to-dos and a Friday. So let's go and see the logic behind this. So first we need to sort our to-dos by day. So we have an array of to-dos which has all the to-dos inside of it. Every to-do has some properties, but the one we care about today is the property day. So day here is a number, and that number is just the number of that day in a week. So for example here, the day for this to do is 4, so it's going to be Thursday. Then this one's 2, Tuesday, and etc. And we may have a bunch of other uh, to-dos in our array to-dos. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and filter the to-dos by day. So I'm going to put uh, all the to-dos that belongs to the same day in a single array. So for example here, I'm going to go and create an array and inside of it, I'm going to put all the to-dos that belongs to Thursday. Here, all the ones that belongs to Tuesday, Sunday or Saturday, then Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, and then Friday, etc. And that's what I'm going to do for everyone so i'm gonna filter them based on the property day now all this arrays will be inside an array called sort to do's by day so this is now a two-dimensional array now the index of this element here is zero which is the same as the day of all the to do's inside of it this one is going to be 1, 2 for index, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we have like a link between the index of uh, the element in this array and the day property of all those to do's inside this array. So the index is the same as the property day. So now just by looking at the index of the array, we can figure out the name of the day. All right, now how can we achieve this using code? So first I'm gonna need to create an array called days, which contains all the days. These are strings, not numbers, because the day here is a string. All right, now I'm gonna go and map over my days array. Then for each day, I'm gonna go and filter my to-dos array. So I'm gonna filter them based on the property day. So when this starts, the day is going to be zero. So I'm going to go and filter all the to-dos that the to-do that day is equal to zero. To-dos that filter will return an array, which is this array when this starts. And then days that map will just return an array, which is my saw to-dos by day array. Now, when we need to render our days into our next seven days component, we must start with today. So for example, if today is Thursday, I'm going to start with Thursday, which means I'm going to need a new array. So here, song to do's by day is where I sort all the to do's by day. That's okay. But I will need another array where I need to arrange all the days so starting from today. So for example, if today is Thursday, I will need an array called arrange day. Well, I'm going to start from four, 
then 5, then 6, then 0, 1, 2, 3. Which means I'm gonna lose the link between the index and the day. So, which means I need to save the number of the day also. So he, instead of just returning an array, this array here, I'm gonna return an object with two properties the to do's which is going to be this array here and a number which is going to be the number of the day so this object here now is representing a day and that day has a property to do's so day dot to do's is this array here and then day that number is the number of the day so this is how we sort our to do's uh, by day now we need to go and arrange our day because we need to start from today so let's go and arrange our to do's so after we've sorted our to do's by day this is in general the array we're gonna get so each day is an object and the object has its to do's inside an array and the number of the day uh, which is a string now from that string we can figure out later on the the name of the day now let's say today is thursday which means i'm gonna go and show the to do's of thursday first then friday then saturday then sunday monday tuesday and wednesday so here we need to arrange this array and get an array that looks like this one here so we can start from four which is thursday which is today and then uh, Friday etc so how can I get this array from this one so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and slice this part starting from Thursday so if it's Wednesday I'm gonna slice this part here if it's Monday I'm gonna slice this part here etc so to slice this part here I'm gonna go and use the slice method the slice method takes in the index of the element you want to start slice from. So, for example, if today is Thursday, we need to start from Thursday and the index of Thursday is 4, which fortunately is the same as its number in the week. So here it's going to be 4, a number, not a string. And this code here will turn an array with these three elements. Now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to go and slice these elements here. So I'm going to go and use slice again, but this time I need two arguments, the start index and the end index. The start index will be zero and the end index will be four and four is not included. So that's how slice works. And you can see here that we didn't pass in the end index for slice. If you didn't pass an end index for slice, it's going to be by default the array that length and the array that length so to do is by day that length in our cases it's going to be seven one two three four five six seven so here when we say four it's like we say four then comma then seven and seven is not included now all i'm going to do is i'm going to go and take this array here and put it at the beginning and this one here at the end so in terms of code i'm gonna go and create my array arrange to do's and i'm gonna go and slice my array so to do's by day now this index here fortunately is just the number of the day so i'm just gonna say today and what is today today is gonna be moment that format a string d and if it's thursday this code here will turn four the string four but the index here must be a number which means I need to use pass end to pass this to an integer. Now the code will be const today equals pass end moment that format d. And the other slicing will be dot slice zero and then today. And now all I need to do is concatenate the two arrays and that's it. Now let's go and render our arranged to do's array. So to render our uh, week to do's, I'm going to go first in my next seven days component and create some state. And then I'm going to set my arrange to do's to uh, week to do's to my state here. So week to do's is just our arrange to do's. Why do I need to create some state? Because I want to re-render whenever my week to do's changes. Okay, now this is how our next seven days UI will look like. Based on that, let's figure out the code. So we need a dev with the class name, next seven days. And then some cold braces because I'm gonna use JavaScript because I'm gonna render an array. So I'm gonna use map to render my week to do's array. 
Then for each day, so each day here has two properties, the array, which is my to-dos, and then a string, which is the number of that day. So now I'm gonna go and wrap everything inside a dev with the key data number, which is unique. And then we need a dev with the class name day, which has a name and the total to-dos. So here we have the name, we have the total to-dos in that day, and then the word today inside parentheses if that day is today. For the name of the day here, how do I will get that name is by using the number of the day. So how? I'm gonna use moment, I'm gonna pass in the day that number, and then I'm gonna tell moment that what I'm passing here to moment is the number of the day. And then moment here will parse the number of the day into a JavaScript date object. Now I'm gonna go and use format to format that JavaScript date object to the full name of that day. So this format here will return the full name of that day. And then I'm gonna go and render today next to the day, but in one condition, if the date number is today's number. And I'm gonna use end here. So if this is true, I'm gonna show this. If this is false, I'm not gonna show this. Now for the total to do's, I'm just gonna go and say day that to do's that length. So the length of this array here is also the number of to do's inside of it. So I'm gonna put this inside color braces because this is JavaScript. And because I have here some parentheses, I'm gonna use those parentheses here. Now for my to do's here, I'm gonna render them inside the dev with the class name to do's. And because I'm gonna render an array, because my to do's here is an array, I need to use some color braces and then use the map method. And then I'm gonna render each to do using my component to do, which needs a key which is to do that id which is unique and then my to do. And that said for our next seven days component, now let's go and see this in action. Let's go and open our text editors. Like always we need the files from the last part, the part 17. I'm gonna go and copy the link to that folder paste it in down git and click on download. Once you download the folder, go inside the folder, run npm install, and then you're good to go. So if you already have the files, just open your text editor. Now I'm gonna go into my components folder and then my next seven days, and then I'm gonna go first and create a state for my week to do's. And then I'm gonna initialize this with an empty string uh, we're not with uh, an array and of course I need to bring in use state. Then I'm gonna use effect to uh, sort the to-dos and rearrange the, de the, the array. And of course we're gonna get the to-dos using props. And then I'm gonna run my effect only if the to-dos has been changed. Now I'm gonna go into my to-dos uh, component and you can see that we pass the to-dos to my next seven days uh, component using props. Now I'm gonna go and create uh, an array days and then I'm gonna go and sort my to-dos by day. I'm gonna use map to map over my days array and then for each day I'm gonna use that day to return uh, an object with to-dos filtered. So I'm gonna filter my to-dos here. I'm gonna filter my to-dos using the filter method. So if to do that day is the day I'm gonna return that to do. And now uh, I need to save the number of that day because I'm gonna use that later. Now I'm gonna go and create our arrange days. In this case we're gonna need to use slice. So uh, for today it's gonna be past end and then I'm going to use moment. So moment that format the string D to get the number of the day. Now I'm going to go and concatenate that with sorted to do's by day and then sliced this time from zero index to today index. 
and that's it. And now I'm gonna just set week to do's to array to arrange days array. Now I'm gonna go into uh, my JSX here and I'm gonna go and map over my week to do's. So for each day, which is an object, I'm gonna wrap this inside a dev with a key, which is the day that number because it's unique. And then another dev with the class name day, a name and the number or the total of to do's. And here at the bottom, I'm gonna go and render my to do's. So for the name, I'm gonna use JavaScript. So I'm gonna use moment. I'm gonna pass my date at number and then format the JavaScript object to a, a full name of the day. And here I'm gonna check if the date at number is the same as today's number. Then I'm gonna go and render today inside parentheses. Now uh, the total to do's, I'm gonna go and say day that to do's that length. So the length of the array to do's is the number of to do's. And here I'm gonna go and use map to render my to do's array. So I'm gonna render each to do using the to do component. This needs a key, which is to do that ID, and it needs also the to do itself, the to do object. First, I need to bring in to do. Now let's save and take a look, and you can see them all there. They are all empty because we have no to dos. Now I'm gonna go and style my next seven days component. So for the day, it's gonna be a margin of five pixels and then a display flex. So if I save, now if uh, for the name of the day, it's gonna be a font weight bold and then a font size one rem. And then I'm gonna add some patterns of some margin for my total to do's dev of 10 pixels and we're good. Now I'm gonna go and add a to-do to each of the days and see if our code is working. So that's good for Friday. Let's see for the other days. Saturday, that's okay also. 28 Sunday, that's great. 29, that's also gonna work. 30 for Tuesday and then Wednesday and of course our code is working just fine and that's it so that's it for this part guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope you learned something new so don't forget to like the video and subscribe and see you in the next part take care